Hey, good evening to you. It's been two months since uh, the state first introduced these hope centers, which are partially funded by the CARES Act. This is one of them here at Northwest 14th and Harvey, the Christian Life Center. They help kids have a place to go. The Hope Centers serve around 1700 kids across Oklahoma with 27 centers open now. They work by the state helping fund community centers already in place where kids can go. We have an embedded worker within each Hope Center that allows for us to serve the family as well. So it's not just the child coming in and being served in a classroom setting with all of those additional resources, but it's also that the family gets served. Governor Stitt and federal officials from the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services touring this Hope Center today. HHS Deputy Secretary Eric Hargan saying Oklahoma is the first with this model. But we are pleased to see places like Oklahoma working aggressively to come up with solutions and to be creative. Here in Oklahoma, the governor and his administration have pioneered one solution with the Hope Center model. So right now these Hope Centers are funded with $15 million from the CARES Act. Remember that's the uh, aid package that Congress passed for virus relief. That money expires at the end of the year. So today state and federal officials announcing they have put together a uh, package of funding so that these can continue into 2021 and even beyond. In Oklahoma City, Dylan Richards, KOCO 5 News. <laughs>